What up, Flow fans? It's me, John. I'm back with another video. Today, I'm going to talk about some new updates that came out. want to make a video about it. Really excited about it. So I don't know if you saw, but uh, let's go check out the blog post really quick. Uh, so here you can see, browse the history of your approvals and other updates. And so the big announcement here was approvals history, right? Everybody's asking for that. But we'll go look at that at the end really quickly. This video, I want to focus on these brand new Excel Online connectors. So I get questions all the time from people about the Excel connector. Why don't you use the Excel connector more, John? Why don't you use it? And so the old version, there was this weird limitation where um, if you had the sheet open, the flow couldn't access it and the flows would fail. Or if the flow was using it, uh, someone else couldn't use it. And so it just, it was kind of clunky. Well, these new ones came out and they don't lock the sheet and other people can interact with the sheet while the flow interacts with the sheet as well. And, uh, and so I have been getting, uh, by far my biggest request for the Excel connector is when people say, uh, John, we want to do approvals with Excel. And so previously it wasn't really possible. Um, it wasn't even something I wanted to try. And, uh, but now with these new ones, uh, I actually sat down and I built a flow that does approvals with Excel. And so this one goes out to my buddy Cesar on YouTube because this one's for you, buddy. You asked for it, I got it for you. So, all right, let's jump in, um, follow my screen and, and let's work through this together. So first thing we need to look at is uh, the Excel sheet setup. So I have two tables here, okay? I have one, you can see it's a simple approval, first name, last name, email address, and it's about webinars. You can have links to slides, and then there's a couple fields over here, which you would need to do a little bit of user education on, but uh, for the purposes of this demo, I'll let you work that out afterwards, okay? So now we can see over here, there's a separate tab, a separate table, uh, and that's approved. And all it is is just mirroring the first table, right? So, okay, let's go and check out the flow itself. And so uh, here we are, and you can see approval on Excel for Cesar. Uh, I'm not going to try his last name because I'll just butcher it. Uh, so let's see. First thing to know, when working with Excel Connector, you need to always have a trigger for it and uh, because it doesn't have triggers of its own. So I'm starting with recurrence, which is schedule. And then you can see I've set it here for every one hour. And then what I did was I went and I decided to use the get a row action. Get a row using a key column. Right, and so you can see I've set it up to OneDrive for business, OneDrive, then my flow demos folder, and uh, the sample sheet that I just showed you over here. Now I'm connecting to table one, and what I'm looking for is this key column send for approval, and the value I need is yes. And so right here, send for approval, we'll have to say yes, and then that's going to kick off the rest of the flow. And so then we'll see that uh, there's a condition here that checks if send for approval is equal to yes, and if so, it starts an approval. And so we can see then I, I bring in the modern approvals experience to work with the Excel sheet. And so then I have a second condition here. I'll, I'll let you look at this really quick. You can see how I've set it up. My approval type is that anyone can approve. I just given it a test approval as the title assigned it to myself. Put some, some details in here uh, and then don't have a link to anything because I, I dropped all the details into the approval itself. So now the condition, the next one is, what's the response of the approval? If the response is equal to approve, then we'll take some actions. What we'll do is we'll add a row into a table. So we'll take the data from over here in the proposals table and we'll move it over here to the approved table. And so they're, they're labeled a little bit differently. Like you can see this one's table 13 and uh, this one's table one. I, I have the different names on them, but you, you can figure out pretty quickly which one is which. So you can see that what I do is I take all the dynamic content from the first table and I put it over here into the second table if it's approved. And then what I do is uh, I send an email to the user saying, congratulations, your webinar is approved. And then naturally, you know, you'd make a big email with some details, giving them some information. Maybe you'd create a calendar event and insert it in there. Uh, but for this, we're just going to keep it simple so we can keep it short. So uh, then I say, if the response is not equal to approve, then go ahead and send an email to the person saying, sorry, it was rejected with the comments of why. 
And then at the bottom, what we do here is we, we delete a row. And so we, we use the same exact criteria that we had, did to get a row. Same exact, you can see here, table one, send for approval, yes. Same exact detail so that when, after the approval runs, the data moves over, uh, emails are sent, then the item is deleted from the first row so that in the next hour, after that flow has already run through, it doesn't check it again. And then so that someone doesn't have to go and delete it automatically from, from the list, uh, from the sheet itself. So, okay, let's go now to the sheet and uh, I'm going to dump some data in here and let's actually see it work. Okay, so I went ahead and I entered all of my items in. I'm gonna go over to my flow. I forgot to click update, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and click run now because I don't wanna wait for one hour. And so I wanna run it right this minute and I wanna start the approval on that item. Okay, cool, we can see this recurrence started. It gets the row, hits the condition. The condition is running. Obviously it's met because it went to yes, starts the approval. I'm waiting for an email any moment now. There it is, test approval. Name John Levesque, best webinar ever. Webinar description, it will be magical and amaze you. Proposed date, looks like it needs a little bit of formatting, but let's go ahead and approve it. it takes us to the Flow Approval Center where we can see our received requests, our sent requests, and now our history. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. We can see received, we can see sent. We can see that the approval went through, condition met, row deleted go over to our spreadsheet, the proposed item is gone, the approved item is magically there, I have an email, congratulations, lots of awesome details about the webinar, it's approved. Boom, awesome, flow approvals, modern approval experience using the new Excel connector. I hope this is useful to you guys. Uh, let me know if you have comments. Let me know how you guys are going to use this. And uh, also, please feel free to suggest the next video idea. All right? I'll talk to you guys soon. Good as always. Later.